So I guess the most fundamental question we can ask is what actually is a PhD? And this is something that I often ask live audiences when I'm giving talks. So I've got a room full of PhD students and, and academics. And I say, well, what is it you're actually trying to do? What is a PhD fundamentally? And generally speaking, there's a lot of kind of uncomfortable silence. And the few answers that I do get tend to be a little bit vague and not very confident. So people say um, it's a journey or it's a process or maybe some other kind of metaphorical thing. But very few people ever have a very clear um, confident definition of what a PhD is. And if you're dedicating three, four, five, six years or more to getting this thing and potentially thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, you need to know. You need to know what it is you're actually trying to achieve. So my definition of a PhD is it's the entrance qualification to the world of professional academia. And the aim is to develop and demonstrate the skills of a professional academic. And when you start to think of the PhD in this way, if you start to think about those, um, those elements of the definition, it starts to tell you something about the way you need to approach the work. So if the aim is to develop the skills of a professional ac academic, there are two things there. One is the assumption that you don't already have those skills. So it's not about coming in as a good student and simply continuing that. It's about learning new skills. You have to um, structure your own work in the absence of a syllabus in order to develop those skills efficiently and effectively. The second element is that it's about professional academia. So it's um, about looking at what professional academics do and that can tell you a lot about what you need to do in your own research. So when you write a literature re review, for example, if you think as a student, it's about showing how much I know. If you think as an academic, it's about showing a small amount of the expertise that you've built up over a long time. You select from your knowledge. Okay? So that's just one example of many of how thinking of it in a specific way changes the way fundamentally you approach the work. So this definition, it's kind of a foundation that I use um, in a lot of my courses and in the coaching. Um, and it tells you a lot when you start applying that to different, um, different scenarios. So it's really important um, to have that solid foundation and that solid definition.